So you want to build a mini ITX computer? You don't have a lot of money. Well, if you've got 50 bucks, then Cooler Masters Elite 110 is the solution that you're probably going to be looking at. This thing is awesome. It's only 50 bucks. And with that said, let's just shut the frack up and jump in and check this shiznik out. All right, folks, so here we have it, the Cooler Master Elite 110 Mini Cube Liquid Cooling Support. It can have a 120 millimeter radiator inside this little tiny cube. Supports full-size PSUs, VGA cards with 210 millimeters. It says ample storage for three hard drives or four SSD, dual super speed, USB 3.0 support, all in the box. It says PSU model, so I'm imagining that some models out there are going to come with a PSU. This particular model did not, hence is why we said it was the 50 bucks model. Nothing much on the side except for some more of the nomenclature the UPC code in case some folks want to look this up in their country for buying it. You guys can check that up as well as the model number right there. Then just on one last side, we have the specifications. Not that many of them. I'm not going to read the box. I'm just going to show you guys the screen so you guys can check it out for yourself. You prefer it that way. But basically, folks, I mean, check it out, man. 50 bucks is a really low price and everything's getting smaller these days. So that's what's going to make this thing interesting. So I flick the old knife out there. Take a little cut there, a little cut here. This thing should be really, really nice and easy to get out of the box. It's not real heavy or anything, so I shouldn't have to like go flapping anything around. So hence the top comes off. You guys can see inside how it's packed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the old plastic right here on this one. It's just gonna be nice and lightweight. Out it comes. One box, oh wait, there's an instruction manual inside of there before I smack the cameraman again. I'm smacking it with the system in one hand. Here's the manual, and then we throw box at cameraman. Over the head, and oh well, away she goes out into the blue. Two little side panels right here. You can hear it banging around on the table as I do it. Two more. Oh, got him once. Oh, got him twice. All right. You guys love it. And I know you guys always ask me, why am I throwing stuff at Jesus? He's such a nice guy. I don't know. It's just part of the day. He, he, he ducks most of the time. Trust me. He's gotten pretty agile in the last few years. So here we have it. Check it out, folks. Out of the box. Totally flat black all the way around the side. Now, we'll start disassembling this thing, but first let's go ahead to the side, right here on top. It's like we have a power button, two USB 3.0, mic, headphone, looks like your hard drive button, and this may be the reset button. So when I get to the manual and take all that, we'll see. Let's see if the front panel is removable. Yes, it is. So you see I took one little pull right there. The front panel did come off, so now I'll spin it around so you guys can see the fan that's in the front. Try to get my hand out of the way there so you guys can see that better. And then all the cabling also as well. So I'm trying to get an angle of that so you guys can see all the cabling in there. Go ahead and take it off to the side here. There's two pop screws on the top here. I will try to remove them by hand at first. Um, both these are way too tight. So, all right, folks. So I tried to take these off with my thumb. I couldn't do it. So I had to get a little tool to help me break the initial connection there. This is a little tiny screwdriver. Still, they're in there very tight. They probably use some kind of machine to stick these things in there in the factory. Because, uh, yeah, they are pretty tight. So if you're getting this case, uh, I would suggest that uh, you break yourself out a screwdriver and prepare yourself to take the screws out because I wasn't able to do it by hand. Now I've used the tool, obviously, I've been around. I've begun them all, so now I'll just take them all off. And this is kind of boring folks to see this, but uh, we can probably uh, speed it up if you like, but you guys like to see it all. So this one's coming off a lot simpler. Just disassemble the entire thing for you folks because we know you guys like it to be brought all the way down to as bare as it can be, and we're with you there. So it takes a little second more, but you get more, right? Okay, so this whole piece now slides off one completely piece. All right, maybe not, but hey, you know, you can mod it, right? Yeah, okay. All right, then. And by the way, there is a manual here. So for looking up everything that it does, it has the installation guide, which will tell you all that stuff. I'm kind of a guy, I like to just take my stuff apart and go for it. A lot of you guys are the same type of way. Over here on the side, we've got some kind of little cabling here. I'll go ahead and just remove this little zip tie thingy. Well, it's not a zip tie, it's a little twisty thingy. We'll get that out and kabam. All right then, these are all your parts for your installation. Interesting, 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 including your little tiny little tool. All your offsets and everything for your motherboard. So let's look inside. Lots of room. 
So, I mean, I don't think it's going to fit uh, some of the huger, like super extreme video cards, but most video cards will probably fit in this pretty easily. The front panel, you guys all saw, has additional things to hook on to the headers of your motherboard and everything for obviously the controls and the USB and all that good stuff. You get a single 120 millimeter fan. And I mean, that is pretty much everything in the Elite 110 for 50 bucks. All right, folks, so there you guys have it. Mini ITX style, good options for something so small, 50 bucks coming into the market. Now, a lot of people out there, I think you guys are gonna be interested in this. You've always said, hey, we like small, we like efficient, and we like something that's very, very price worthy. So if you're interested in any more information about this video, you have to like this video, down below the like button in the description, we'll have information where you guys can check out more information or purchase one of these for yourself. I'm Elric with Tech of Tomorrow. Thanks very much for watching the channel. If you like like this type of style of video, hey, subscribe and we'll see you back here once again. Peace.